Hey folks, welcome to a new game for us. This is called Puffin Planes, and if you've watched anything on this channel, you should know I love a good airline building game. Uh, this game is relatively new, uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start off a new game here, but you can also multiplayer stuff. You can either join a game, so, so I click on join game, we have that stuff there. But right now, I'm not going to worry about that, because I want to go back into our regular game, and we'll hit new, and uh, we can do all kinds of stuff here. So we can have a starting airport, classic, whatever. Uh, I am going to select the start uh, because I want to make sure that I know <laughs> what's going on. But you have to worry about uh, planes crashing. Uh, we can actually fly on or set our airline up on Mars. But first we need the Red Moon Rocket Airways. And we're going to hit new game here and we'll go in and see exactly what's going on. Uh, so the game has a couple of things that you need to pay attention to that really do impact what's going on. And to start off with, uh, you get a new airline, you have a quarter, and then you have an ex exceeding a quarter. Uh, and that quarter is always going to be down here at the bottom. So I have to operate in three cities, and I have seven days to do it. Uh, and we'll dive into some of the other things here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and find our starting airport, which I'm going to choose as hopefully New York City. I can't acquire rights to that. Hold on, yes I can. Acquire operating rights, there we go. All right. And then it's going to give you, uh, when you do this, and then the game spoils right now, but as you do this, it's going to open up other airways to you. And they have different kind of things here. So I don't know what these symbols mean, but I'm assuming that's travel and TV or radio or something. I don't understand what that symbol is either. I think that's just a big airport, but I'm not positive. Uh, when we click on them, you can see how large the city is and the buying rights change depending on how big the city is. So Detroit is smaller than Atlanta and therefore costs less than Jacksonville should be even smaller. It's only 1.6 and costs significantly less. Oh, look, see, it's a tourism destination and it has safety systems. If we go here, it doesn't have anything, and this one has uh, efficient operations. Does New York City have anything? No. And we'll go over all of this in just a moment here. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to acquire the rights to Atlanta, and then we just click, hold, and drag to whatever airport we want to do. And we do have two planes in our hangar. Right now, they are Sawtell. Saltelli, uh, Picos, uh, they fit 25 people. They have a range between stops of 1600 uh, miles or kilometers, I'm not sure. Uh, they can go 500 kilometers an hour. Okay, so it's kilometers. Uh, the fuel is 150% fuel efficient and it's a small plane and we don't have any orders currently existing and we have one there. And you can go in and you can actually chain together multiple stops if you want. I'm not gonna do that, but you can if you want. Uh, and just by how our airport's set up right now, I think Atlanta's really gonna be our hub for lack of a better term so i'm gonna go in there start that plane and then detroit oh we don't have enough money to acquire detroit but that's okay we've already uh, met our main goal and now we're working on exceeding expectations and you really 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 want to make sure you exceed expectations before i hit play here let's take a look at a couple other things we have our days our speed all this stuff on the bottom we have our money and it charts this little graph will go up and down depending on what you're doing you have these puffin tokens, which allow you to upgrade your planes uh, and your airline and operations, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you have your reputation. Uh, basically, the better job you do, the more reputation you get. And if you have planes crashing and stuff, it goes down. Or if you uh, to underserve uh, either routes or cities, that it goes down as well. Uh, and then you have hangars, which is a, a newer one here. So our fleet capacity, uh, we have a total of 10 fleet capacity right now which is just fine, uh, but we're gonna need to grow that and it's rather expensive to do that. Uh, we'll get there in hopefully short order. Uh, and then we also have our overview of our network, which you can see here, if we click on it, we can get all of that. We can see our planes, daily profit. You can take a look at airports and models and all that stuff. They just got a broad overview. This little orange button allows us to buy stuff. Uh, over here, we have our airlines. Um, right now, we are the only airline in existence, but if you had a multiplayer game, you'd be able to see what was going on there. We can chat or chart, should I say, all of the things. We have our income balance all the way up to our score and whatever. Uh, and then here's our research area. Up at the top, we have our airline policies and you get to pick either or, so you don't get both. And then there's also airplane upgrades. And we have two planes to start off with, the Sawtel Pico and the Leveraging Veteran. Um, this one we don't have yet, but at least have the research unlocked. And you can see how they're kind of chained together. So as we unlock one, it moves to the next, um, but that's fine. Uh, we don't have anything to spend on there right now anyway. And then the last one, these are all just little filters to see different stuff. But let's go ahead and hit the play for the game. We, we should see their planes starting here hopefully soon. There's our money. It's, go, it's starting off at that level. Uh, we repositioned the plane, which costs us a little bit of money. And then once the daytime or morning hits here, we should start seeing some planes moving around. Here comes daytime and our first flights are out of there. And we got some money. And they're just going to go back and forth for a bit doing their thing. Hopefully making us some money. 
and we're gonna need to unlock another airport here. Um, before we do that though, oh, hold on, let's pause it. Sometimes I, I would like this game to pause if things that pop up here. Uh, let's see, the land needs to be uh, there. So you can kind of take a look here. We'd be honored, we can receive, uh, we just spawn 61 people, we have to transport them, which is fine. Uh, we could do this one here where we have uh, f plus 5% busyness in Atlanta, or we can do nothing. Uh, so we will try to take them, uh, mainly for the money. Uh, and then what we can do is go over and buy some new planes. So we're gonna get another one of these. We're gonna order two of them. And as the game kind of goes on, all this stuff gets more expensive. So right now it's the cheapest it's ever gonna get and it will get more expensive as time wears on here. All right, uh, so we're gonna do that. We'll start that plane and right now we can't do it because the plane's gonna take some time to build. Uh, when you build a plane, it also shows up here on the bottom right hand side and it will stack if you have different types of planes uh, being ordered. Uh, but we have that. Let's see, we have uh, a big increase here. So we just need to make sure we transport all those people. And we have a lot of people waiting for Jacksonville. You can see that we have 55 people waiting to board. So we might actually want to add additional plane. To do that, all I have to do is click on it, click on add new plane, and start the plane because we only have one type of plane right now. Uh, and that should at least allow us to speed that process up. All right. And every so often, uh, it doesn't seem to be on a regular basis, but they'll open up new airports. So we have Charlotte now open, Richmond and Indianapolis. And then what we'll do is uh, we need to buy some new planes and we need to acquire one more city. So we're gonna order two planes, that should be fine. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is because we have the time to uh, wait here. We're only halfway through and we'll be able to unlock that, no problem. There it is, and there we go. We'll connect Charlotte out, start that plane up. And it looks like we have all of this. Our local approval here is high. We have good passenger throughput. There's nobody really waiting for most of this stuff. Jacksonville's our one exception. When we go into demand, you can see where people are going per day. So you can get an idea, like right now, Charlotte, there's not a lot of people there, but it's also a brand new airport. So it might increase uh, our stuff as day goes on here. And then once you start getting, let me pause this again here real fast. Um, as you start uh, building people, like Atlanta is the only airport we connect, it's gonna get really busy. You can see that they only really handle a certain amount of uh, people before it goes out. Uh, what we can do is we can go to upgrades and then we can either have a focus. So we get uh, 25 off our landing fee and we get to add uh, another 40 people through an hour uh, and we can keep upgrading those. And then as we said with the fleet capacity, right now we have 11 because we added on another airport. Uh, you can also add on uh, hangers and then uh, upkeep is also gonna be negative or 25% off at that spot. So it adds 10 spots to our fleet capacity and uh, that's, that's a good thing to have here. So what I like to do is I like to try to get to the exceeding quarter or exceeding goals for the quarter, but I don't like to build beyond that because uh, there's some things that could happen there and I just don't want that to be the case. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, I think, is we're gonna turn New York City into another hub that's gonna be able to access Portland and Ottawa. Uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll get Chicago uh, and then we can turn that into a, an additional hub. Uh, and then we'll connect everything to Detroit probably as well. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's different challenges that pop up in this game that really are interesting and are, are legitimately challenging. Um, it's, it's a fun game to go through and uh, kind of uh, see what's going on there. But you can see uh, back here in our overview, they still like us uh, in Detroit. We have high approval, New York City is high approval. We have moderate approval in Charlotte, but that's just because we just opened up there. And then we have high approval in Jacksonville. So it looks like we're doing our thing. And when you click on the cities, it'll also show you where routes are going from. So Atlanta, all of them highlight because we have all of them, but uh, that's not the case for everything. And New York City looks like it's gonna need another uh, plane here at some point because we're filling that one up. All right, so we did exceed our expectations. Uh, so when you reach the end of the quarter, you get the, some rewards, but you get to pick the rewards, which is kind of cool. Uh, so. We can get more money and get $24,000, which will go a long way. Uh, we can get some tokens or just tokens, which is four tokens for us. We can do a mix. So like, it's not exactly half because look, we had 24 here. So our money's halved, but our tokens are actually rounded up so, or not even rounded up. They're just up. Uh, we get three tokens instead of four. Uh, and then we can also go in and we can get a free token and five of our leveraging veteran planes, uh, which I think that's what I want to do. Um, because you see here where it says well-served routes, we have, to have uh, seven of them. Uh, that basically means that we have, uh, they're happy on all of those. So let's go ahead and we, and they're happy with all of ours. 
So I think I want to do this leveraging veteran. And we're going to add the leveraging veteran to this route. And then I think what I can do is uh, remove this plane out of its routing right now. And eventually you can decommission planes, but I honestly haven't played long enough to do that. Oh, I have this. What do I have to do? Uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and connect one of these areas out here. All right, so we're going to do that. And that's going to be that one. We'll start that plane up. Do that one. I don't want to leverage any veteran for that. I want to... Let me go back here real fast. See, I'm doing stuff I've never done before in this game. Yeah, see that one? I need you to do that, and I want you to fly. Oh my gosh, okay. So what I'll do, <laughs> see if I can do this. Can I just drag it onto a route? Oh, that would be really cool if I could, but I can't. All right, so we're gonna change this one's starting and stop as well. So New York's, why can I not do that? Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, we're gonna add a new stop. Oh, I have to actually type it in? That's crazy. All right, so New York City, and it's not going to be Atlanta. We're going to add a new stop, and that's going to be to Portland, Maine. Okay. Now we should be okay, I think. So we're going to go in here. We're going to connect Ottawa up. So does that mean this one has two planes on its route? Yeah. See, I don't want that. So can I... How do I decommission this? I don't want to decommission the plane. I just want it to stop... Huh. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to buy a new plane and then we'll move that over to a, a busier route eventually here. So we'll connect Ottawa into there. And we're going to start that up. And then Dallas Fort Worth. That's going to be a big one. And we want to send that with the leveraging veteran. And we'll do the same thing all the way to there. I'll start that plane. All right, maybe that will work for us. Let's see. All right, so we have five well-served routes, so we need to do a little bit more here. Um, and what we might do is just connect some of these guys with some of these guys. And you can see how we are closing in our goal here. There we go. We got those set up. Now we can do some of these other things. All right. Oh, I have to start that plane up. And that's why I don't like to spend money on some of these beforehand, just because uh, you can use up a whole bunch of uh, money trying to just connect random routes together. All right. So we have all of those. Let's see. Maybe we'll just make Detroit the secondary hub here. So we got Milwaukee. We'll buy the rights there. And what planes do we have available to us? Nothing. So we just got to wait for some cash to come in. There we go. Start that plane up. Ooh, we're going to cut this one close, I think. Hopefully, we'll be all right. What's cheaper, Richmond? Richmond's cheaper. We just need money. We're not making a lot of money right now. Yeah, I don't care about new airports opening right now. All right, how much more do we need? Okay, we should be able to afford this soon. Then we're just going to connect these two together. Order one. There we go. We've met our expectations for that. And you can see our routes are looking nice here. Uh, let's go in and take a look at our airport. You can see that our usage is slowly going up. It's not crazy, but slowly getting there. Uh, New York City is doing its job. Detroit doesn't have too much going on. Let's there. There we are. All right, let's take a look here at what we have. Uh, so. We can, uh, well, let's see what our goal is here. 
uh, we need to do Western cities. Okay, this is where the game can get a little annoying, and I'll explain in just a moment. But let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, we get $29,000. We can get more tokens. Uh, we get a little of each. Nah, yeah, it's half. Uh, or we can get 13 of the Picos. Uh, I would love to do that, but I'm not going to do that, and I'll explain why. Uh, if you take a look here, we're over our hanger stuff. So we need money because we need to buy hangers. Uh, if we go over here and we get 13 of them, we're going to need to buy two hangers. A hanger, just for reference, is $12,000. Uh, so that's going to crush us right out of the gate. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to have to uh, go here and get our money. And then we can upgrade. So we're going to go here. We'll grab a hanger there. And we'll grab another hanger here because we need to connect to four western cities which means we're going to need some stuff now when we click on that it's going to take us over so we have los angeles san francisco and when you click on the cities you can see or hover over them even it says connect to the city may help complete your goal does denver help yeah it does does omaha count nope tulsa nope okay so we have denver and then we have the rest of the uh, west coast here uh and we have seattle count too okay cool uh we do have some of bigger planes right we have two of those in storage okay so we're gonna you can see the price is going up so I'm gonna order one two three of those uh, and then we'll unlock some of these cities I think we're gonna go from Dallas Fort Worth to Los Angeles and then probably either New York City or Atlanta to Los Angeles as well and then we'll use that as the launching point for all the other stuff and eventually we'll make Denver a hub as well but we need some money to do that so LA is going to cost us 7,000, Phoenix is 5,000, Las Vegas is 3,700, 5,700, 4,300. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we just need to wait for our money to come back here. And we have two planes on this Jacksonville one, right? Yeah. And this one is being dumb, but that's okay. Uh, let's speed the game up here very quickly, and then we'll kind of see what's going on. Um, there is no loans or anything like that in this game, so whatever you buy is what you got. <laughs> So we're gonna need to wait for some money to come through and then we can hopefully start raking in some cash here. But right now we are not making tons of money by any means. It's a pretty slow burn, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. So I dig parts of this game. Ooh, what happened? Yeah, oh, we have to pay $3,000 to the passenger. That's ridiculous. But you can see there's worldwide map and uh, there are tons of stuff. Now you can click on these and actually build stuff too. Like I can purchase the, or fully fund the airport. Uh, and eventually it's gonna unlock us to be able to go overseas and all that stuff. Like you see we already have one in Mexico, we have several in Canada, yay us. Uh, and it expands out towards places that you already have. So you can see like we don't have anything over here. So when we added new airports, it didn't add them for us. All right, but we are gonna now be able to connect to Los Angeles and we're gonna use a leveraging veteran for that and I guess we'll fly on New York City all the way over there too whoa oh it's too far okay never mind we won't do that because we need to have more distance there all right but what we can do is we can start unlocking some of these other cities so no we can't because we don't have enough money we'll get there don't worry but it's going to be a little bit more time before we get some of these going here all right so we have Las Vegas that we have Start that plane up, so we got two of them. This one is 57, this one is 51. Okay, so that plane is half full. Oh, you can see some other ones popped up here that doesn't help us right now, but they are starting to move a little farther west, and we're getting some more stuff down south as well. Um, oof, we're gonna be close on this goal, aren't we? Okay, I don't know if we're going to make this goal or not. You can hear the ticking going off now because we're very close to our time limit and uh, we're not there yet. So I'm going to speed this up just a hot second. Oh, it's going to come right down to the wire. We need 5,700. There we go. We got more money. All right, we'll go do that, that. Start that plane off. And then we're not going to exceed expectations. We need to connect to seven, um, which we don't have the money to even unlock another city, let alone, like we can unlock one of these or that, but yeah. And you see that our reward financially is much lower. Uh, the tokens is lower and basically it's all lower. <laughs> so we're gonna do a mix of those. 
uh, and we just have to have well-served routes. Okay, that's at least a doable thing. Uh, so I think we're gonna unlock this next. We'll do Dallas Fort Worth uh, and we're gonna do a leveraging veteran there. And then we should be able to connect these guys all through that. At least that's the plan. All right, let's start the game up here. And we're just trying to make our money so that we get the roots that we need and then we can serve them properly and do our thing. That one's not going to help because it's already probably considered well served. So we're going to unlock something like this. There we go. We just need one more setup here. Let's do Houston. Oh, no, let's not do Houston. Houston's expensive. Do 33, well served, okay, we can do that. Oh, one thing I should also mention, when you drag over here, you can see in the top, it'll tell you what planes will uh, reach whatever you're trying to get to. And right now I'm just trying to connect some dots here. And we're finally starting to rake in some real cash. Once you start getting longer flights, you make money a lot more easily. I don't think we're gonna reach this one, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. It's 5,046, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nope, we didn't make our goal there, that's okay. Uh, we got that, and we also have rep a good reputation, so we actually get extra uh, tokens because of that. Uh, we can do this and get uh, an extra one there, or a mix. So we get two tokens and $9,500. That sounds about right. Let's see, we have to meet, uh, we have to get to five cities in Mexico. Oof, that's gonna be expensive. Uh, so we're gonna actually just get the money. We'll go in here and take a look at our tokens. Uh, as far as airline policies, we can get uh, 15% more capacity and uh, lose comfort. I don't want to do that. Uh, we can get 10% uh, more people or 20% more comfort and decrease boarding time. Uh, we're going to absolutely choose that eventually here. Uh, let's take a look at our airplane upgrades and see if there's anything in there. So we can get lower build time. Uh, we can get lower fuel cost and better efficiency for just the, and these upgrades are just for that. Um, or we can get the uh, next plane that has, uh, I'm assuming that's 125 people. I don't remember off the top of my head. Because uh, some of these allow you to add additional people um, as we move down here. You can add 20% capacity, which is very, very, very attractive for this. So I think I'm going to do that because we can unlock that one down the road. All right. Let's take a look. We have a decent amount of money right now. Let's take a look and see what we have. We have one being built. We're going to order probably five more. Because we need to connect five cities here. And I'm actually also going to order one of these leveraging veterans. Uh, mainly because I want to go from Dallas-Fort Worth to Mexico City. Take a look at Dallas-Fort Worth. You can see it's kind of one of our longer haul hubs. Um, so we're going to go from here to there. And that is going to be built with that. And once that plane is built, then we can stick it on that route and hopefully connect all that stuff to Mexico City. So probably Monterey, Guadalajara. Yeah, we should be able to do that pretty nicely. But we need to just speed up time a little bit here. Uh, so we can start that plane off.
And then we can start connecting all of these cities. So Guadalajara. What do you mean by rights? I have a plane going there, don't I? Okay, that was weird. Alright, so we'll keep going here. But we do have a plane flying. There it goes. And we're just going to start adding all these planes to connect to that area. Alright, we need to do nine cities in order to move forward here, so we'll try to get that. Fortunately, no new airports opened in uh, Mexico. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we'll see what we can do here. So we got that one. We have the rights for that one now, okay. And we'll order that, we'll start that plane up, and then we have this guy all the way out here which we can do, and I think we can afford, oh, we can't do that one, bummer. All right, we're gonna have that fly to, let's just have that fly to Los Angeles then. All right, and then we need to have one more, so let's see. Yeah, I probably do that, and that's gonna be $7,800, okay. So let's order another plane there. Start that guy up, and then we can start that plane. All right, we exceeded our expectations, which is fantastic. That's what we're always looking to do. Um, I should probably see if I can connect those out. There we go, okay. I like to try to route some of these things to be as long as possible uh, to connect things. Uh, not for any other reason than it just makes things in the game a little easier down the road. Uh, so all of these guys we can connect kind of spider web through if we wanted to and then we get that set up uh, and then we can kind of maybe start thinking about what our next hub is going to be uh, Seattle's intriguing as it's up north and has a bunch of of these guys kind of out there we can get more stuff there but there we go let's see uh, we need to expand uh, 34 cities in our uh, if we get 44 that's our thing there that's a lot of cities okay uh, we need more, we're definitely gonna need more money, but we could do a little of each. Oh yeah, see that's, that's, that's nice. Um, so we'll do that. All right, now we can go in and we just need to connect all of the cities. And then we'll probably call it a day once we uh, move just a little more forward here. I just wanna see a few things I'm interested in here. Um, So tell me how far that is. 760, 750. Uh, yeah, so that's the short Detroit. Where are you? No. Okay, Detroit's actually the shortest flight there. So we're going to order that bad boy. And we need two more to just clear that goal out. And then we can kind of do more. <laughs> so, Albuquerque? Sure. Rapid City, of course. Billings, or do I want to connect up here? I think I want to build something from Denver to there. And I just need to wait for more money to come in so I can start that plane up. And then we should be able to connect these pretty easily. Just do we have any of these guys in? There we go. Okay. Boise. Denver to Billings is five something. That's up over a thousand. Okay, so Billings is going to be going to Denver. 
Salt Lake City. You are also going to go to Denver. Denver is going to get real busy here, I think. If we take a look here, you can see that it's getting used up significantly more than most of our other airports. Um, Dallas, Fort Worth also looks like it's getting closer. You can see the color of the pulsating uh, kind of globe things there start to change colors as they get more and more busy. So like Mexico City, yeah, we're using up a lot of that. Uh, so what we can do is go to upgrades and we can focus on the city. But right now, what we really need to do, and I think we'll be able to do what I just said here, but I want to make sure we can afford all the other things first. Uh, so let's go here into New York City and start unlocking some of these Canadian ones. Halifax. Uh, what's going on in Thunder Bay? Large facilities, okay, whatever. Winnipeg, of course. There we go, all right, now we need to go back to Mexico City and assist them with that so that we don't overdo it there. Uh, we're probably going to have to do the same thing here. How about New York or New York City? What are we doing here? No, you're still okay. I mean, it's not the best. Milwaukee should be fine. Denver, we're going to upgrade that one as well once we have enough money. And yeah, it sucks to spend this kind of money. Like we're, we, we were rolling in cash not that long ago and now we're not, but uh, this will help us out longer term as we kind of move some of this more stuff here. Uh, and the only other thing I wanna do is connect Seattle and Los Angeles. I always like to have, maybe it's the uh, Flycorp or whatever uh, in me, but I like to have cities connected by two different routes so that if one of them goes down for whatever reason, we're okay. Uh, now, I'm going to pause the game real fast, and we're going to take a look at our, air, uh, not our airlines, we're going to look at our network overview here, uh, and just take a look and see ch -ch 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 profitability, we can sort by that, so we can see that the New York, the Dallas, Fort Worth is making us money, and it's full both ways all the time, um, Denver to Seattle, for whatever reason, is a pretty busy one as well, uh, if we go into airplanes, we can sort by model, we can sort by profitability, um, but if we take a look, if I view the plane, uh, we can kind of get an idea of its status. And I don't know if this is uh, anything important. Uh, like, I don't know how to get that down necessarily. Um, but I want to look at our very first set of routes here, which was, uh, we actually got rid of that plane there. But let's take a look at this one, which was uh, Atlanta to Jacksonville. Uh, if we click on this plane here, we have the ability to decommission. But I don't know what, how to tell how old the plane is. Uh, or any of that stuff. Like I can see it's daily profit, I can see it's average loading time, but I don't know anything else beyond that. So uh, there's a lot of information, but also not enough information to go on. Uh, I know that it's under two years old, but that's all, uh, and that's what we have there. Uh, so if we take a look, we can do more miles, because um, we need to, uh, oh, we just need to do our, oh man, all we have to do is do some upgrades, and we do 34 purchase, jeez, that's gonna, be, okay, we need money. Um, so up here, we're just gonna, Oh, but that's that's very tempting. 20 of those uh, planes, how much are they running right now? So that's $60,000 in our pocket. Um, this one's more interesting though. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go in here and you can go to demand now. You can see that this is the connection to go from Mexico City to Milwaukee. Uh, basically you gotta, yeah, I can see why that's uh, Complicated. You basically got to go Mexico City to Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Milwaukee. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's only there's 11 people a day do, trying to do that. That's really, really random. <laughs> okay, let's go in and check. So we're going to do a small lounge upgrade there. We're going to do that for all of our larger connector areas here. And how are we doing here? Okay, we're doing all right. So we're just gonna put focus on some of these and we spent a whole bunch of money. And the one thing I don't believe that this price fluctuates, like if we go to Rabbit City, it's the same price there as what it is to do it in like Atlanta, if we did it in Atlanta, which we, we might actually want to. Hold on, what we got here? Beyond, oh wow, that's a lot of people spawning in Mexico City. Where are they going? 
Okay. We get five, it gets 5% more busy. Um, yeah, I like the 5% more busy. And they're going, let me slow the game down here again. Oh, and what I should do real fast is we can go into our policies upgrade and I can upgrade the economy class. So we add 20% of our capacity to that. So now all these planes now have 45 people instead of what they had before. And we can see that there are not that many people there. Uh, we can see that what uh, is how many people we're transporting per day. And as that number, if that number goes down below 100 uh, into like the 70s or whatever, it will change the color of the route instead of being green to an orange, uh, just like the kind of the hubs do here. Um, all right, so we need to still upgrade places. And I'm going to choose all of the least expensive upgrades that I can handle here, which happens to be that. Although, we can go in and put in long runways at some of these other airports if we wanted to. The problem is, you don't really need a long runway at most of these airports, because the, the ones that need it already have it. Alright. But let's go ahead and slow the game down just a touch here, and after this round we're going to call it a day. But let's go ahead and try to just get some long runways put at some of these other places, just because. And again, the reason why we're doing this is because it's the cheapest option. need to upgrade a few more spots. And you can tell by the size, I think it's the size of the dot or is the size of the dot depending on how many people are there? I don't know the answer to that one. All right, we need to do one more. So I wanna make sure that we can do something that's valuable like a small lounge. There. There we go. All right, we exceeded our expectations and we have our network up and running. Uh, so this is Puff and Planes. It is a very fun little game that gets very involved the more you dive into it. Uh, there's a lot more that I wanna show you, but uh, I don't wanna make this a forever long video uh, because it, it's just, there's a lot more to it. Um, it's not like crazy depth or anything like that, but it's just a, a different way of going through and solving stuff. I love airplane building games. I love going through and making the routes and all that stuff. I'd love to see a better version of online play with this one because it looks like you can only do it right now with uh, people who are your Steam friends. I don't know if that's the case or not. I haven't done it, but I would like to kind of see some additional additions to this one. But folks, thank you for joining me here and I will see you in another one. Have a go. Bye.